What's up? This is Chris from Punkowski. We're here in the Orangery. I'm going to be doing a little tour of the studio today, uh, taking you around the room and showing you the different gear and things that I have in here and what they mean to me, basically. I won't you Why won't you so when you first enter the room, the first thing you'll probably notice is, these, is the uh, giant orange panels that are all across the room. Orange is an important color for me. It's in the Punkowski songs. It's in the symbolism. Uh, it means a lot to me, so I knew I wanted the room to, to represent that color. Um, and it's why I call it the orangery, which is like a greenery, but orange. To keep the room soundproof. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, those are the panels. When you first come in the room, too, you see this whiteboard here. Usually I dump all my ideas that I have. Like if I ever come up with a phrase or a lyric or something, I'll just throw them up here. I recently erased it, so there's not that much on here right now. Let's see what we got. Transmission 5, sit at desk with pen and mini keyboard as song plays. Okay, that was an idea I had for my live show. It sounds terrible now. Punk ass bitches, pretty boys, polished bands. I was pretty mad when I wrote that, I guess. This right here is super important for this room as well. It's my number one fan. This room is really inside of a garage in Miami. It's very hot in here. And although there is AC, it doesn't really work that well, so this fan keeps me alive. Moving on, this is the keyboard I use for my live show. It's an M Audio, whatever. It's pretty reliable. It's got plastic keys. It's, it doesn't feel too great for a keyboard, but it it's uh, it works well for live because I don't mind you know slamming my hands on it. And if it drops, I don't really care or anything. This is the tray I use for my live show. It's actually a pedal board for guitar pedals, but I put my laptop on here and plug in my interface. I'll demonstrate that now. It lets me get to a show. I have my laptop pulled out of my bag. I can easily just drop this on, open it up, plug in the, all the cables I have to. There's, there's so, like live shows, there's so many cables, so many things that need to be routed properly that I just wanted to make a setup that was like simplified for myself. So that's what I do with this uh, guitar pedal board converted to like a laptop tray. This bad boy right here is a sub amp. This has caused me problems because it's so heavy that carrying it to shows in and out of my car is like uh, actually like injured my my core but it's worth it honestly because I get to stand on it and look cool and it also provides a, a nice low end to the shows like at a live show you don't just want to hear the sound you want to like feel it in your body and that's what this guy does uh, this right here is my vocal microphone I really use this microphone for everything um, vocals guitar um, got a pop filter, this little like foam thing, works really well, it's actually not my microphone, my friend uh, lent it to me probably 10 years ago and he's never asked for it back, so maybe it is my microphone, I don't know, <laughs> after 10 years of owning something that a friend lent you, I think it becomes yours. This wood tower right here is where I house my desktop, I use a desktop, not a laptop, just a little more cost affordable to get a very powerful computer in this format. I have hard drives and pedals that I don't use. But yeah, this computer comes to here and this is where I make all my songs. This is where every Punkowski song has been produced. I use Pro Tools, as you can see, which is a audio software. I have two yellow cone monitors, which are pretty reliable. As you can notice, I like to tape things orange. I usually tape over brands and uh, some brands survive. My computer monitor, I used to use this one as my main one, which is very small, and I used that for like years making songs on it, and I finally upgraded to this guy, and it's been awesome working on such a wide screen of a computer. This microphone is cool. This is what I use for my live shows. It's a SM58, which is pretty standard, but I sanded it down to make it silver, because normally it's like a dark gray, and I put some orange tape which I do plan on spray painting, but for now it's just tape. If I'm like working on a song and I just have a random idea, I'll pull this microphone up and just record it into there. So that way I don't have to set up my other one and like stand up and record. I could just put some quick ideas into this thing. To my left I have this keyboard, which is also not mine, but it's awesome. This keyboard has a, like a really realistic touch. It feels like a real piano. And it's hooked up to my computer 
through a cable but behind and I can record MIDI on this and I track all my keyboard and synths with this one. The posters are pretty cool. Sorry, I know I'm going like all over the place here. There's no order to this. The posters are cool. That is a William Blake uh, drawing from his poem America a Prophecy. It's very specific, but if you have read that and you're like, I know what that is, leave a comment because that means you're probably one of the like hundred people in this world who have read that poem. Punctuation is important. Don't ever forget it. The Interabang logo of Punkowski. Let's find one right now. Maybe right here on my laptop. This guy is basically everything. This is what Punkowski is right here. It's the Interabang. It's a question mark, an exclamation point, a P, a dot. It's a lot of things in one. And it, it's also a, a grammar symbol, right? It's a punctuation mark. So I, I really respect punctuation and what it can do. And that's why I, I honor it with that poster on the wall. This base is not mine, it's my friend's. It was originally blue, and one day I wanted it to be orange, so I taped it. And uh, I don't think he minds that I did that. So, I don't know, one day I'll, I'll buy him a really nice base to make up for destroying his base. Uh, I have my electric guitar, which honestly has not been on any Punkowski song yet, because I really don't ever record electric guitar. Out of tune from lack of use. Terrible. That being said, I also have some guitar amps, which never get used. Uh, I used to be into recording guitars and stuff like five years ago, but to me, for the songs I make, it's honestly not worth it, and it's so time-consuming. And guitar, in my opinion, is kind of dead. If you disagree with that, let me know. I'll have the conversation with you in the comments, but I think guitar is dead. I have mirrors. Uh, a big struggle of mine has been learning how to sing, and it's been a struggle of mine for like five years more than five years at this point, and singing in front of a mirror can actually really help. So if you're if you're trying to get better at singing, get a mirror, look at your, your lips and your chin and all this stuff going on in your face while you sing, and it'll really help you like get better. Because uh, vowel, like mouth shapes are important in singing. So that's why I have it right here when I'm rec recording or just writing a song, I can actually wash my mouth. These two PA speakers are the ones I use for my live show. Usually have them positioned left and right on each side of me. They get so loud, these things could like knock your ears off. Usually I just have to put them at like 25% volume, and they're already too loud. So, those are awesome. They are heavy though. Usually have my friends help me carry them. And yeah, that's the room. Obviously there's a lot more things in here. I could probably spend an hour just talking about like this interface or this mouse and how cool it is, but I think that's enough for now. If you want to learn more, if you want to hear more things about this room, if there's anything in here that you saw that I didn't talk about, and you're like, why isn't he talking about that? Let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you, or maybe I'll film a part two of this. So thank you for watching this. If you've made it this far, please, please, please help Punkowski grow and subscribe down below. I have links to my music. Check it out. If you really like the songs, share it with a friend who, who might also like it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, but